For this base jump, we'll build a voting app. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the finished product would look like. This was built by one of our campers based on our user stories. So first things first, we'll sign up. All right, and basically we can create polls quickly. So we can say, who is your favorite captain? You can say Picard or Kirk. All right, your poll has been posted. So basically we can copy this URL and then we'll open a new incognito tab that's not connected to the incognito tab that I had previously. And you can see that this is a publicly accessible thing. And when we vote on Picard, Picard gets one point. And let's say, hypothetically, I open another incognito tab and visited that. I don't need to be authenticated. And let's say we voted for Kirk. Wow, and you can see that Kirk and Picard are neck and neck thanks to our voting pattern. So let's close these tabs and let's go back. Um, and we can also go and view who's the favorite captain. So if we want, we can click on it and pull it up again. And we can also delete it if we'd like to. And it just goes away. Some other cool things we can do here are we can change our password and we can log out. So this is what the challenge generally looks like. And this was built with the Yeoman Angular full stack generator. So give that a go and let's go ahead and take a quick look at exactly what the user stories are. The first user story is, as an authenticated user, I can keep my polls and come back later to access them. Basically, that my polls are saved. The second one, as an authenticated user, I can share my polls with my friends, which is what we did. We copied the URL and we went and visited it and we were able to see the poll, even though we weren't logged in. Next, as an authenticated user, I can see the aggregate results of my polls. That's what we used that chart for, where we could see how many people had voted for each of the two options. And as an authenticated user, I can delete polls that I decide I don't want anymore, which we did. And as an authenticated user, I can create a poll with any number of possible items. So. In this case, we can add additional items to our polls. Let me just show you that real quick. So if I want, I can add additional options here. That's what the uh, more options user story involves. Then as a bonus user story, as an unauthenticated user, I can see everyone's polls, but I can't vote on anything. So this way you would be forcing people to authenticate in order to vote, which is kind of a role control, like access control um, component that you can do within the mean stack. Another bonus user story, as an unauthenticated user or an authenticated user, I can see the results of the polls in chart form. So you could use Chart.js, you could use Google Charts, you could even use something like D3 on this. And another bonus user story, if you really feel like going for the brass ring, as an authenticated user, if I don't like the opinion, options on a poll, I can create a new option. So 
If you have any questions or difficulty understanding how to use Angular Full Stack, remember we've created this guide that you can check out. And this should be really good practice at building a basic CRUD app, uh, create, read, update, delete, those basic actions and managing objects within a database. So I think you'll have a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to seeing what you build. Enjoy.